Welcome back to JK Fitness and Nutrition and welcome to today's workout. Today is full body, high intensity circuit training workout. The focus on our upper body. A lot of upper body work and shoulders as well as full body compound weighted movements. Little bit of body weight thrown in there but focus primarily on dumbbell work. All right, today I have 30 separate exercises. We're gonna go through each one one time. So 30 different exercises hit up once. Timing for today's workout is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. However, some might be a bit trickier and more fatiguing on the certain muscle group that we're targeting because for example, I'm going to split that 40 seconds into 20 seconds. So for our first exercise, I have 20 seconds of overhead press followed by 20 seconds straight in to Arnold press. So we're going to be targeting the same muscle group, two different workouts, sorry, two different exercises within that one circuit. So I do have heavier all the way down to lighter because I think the fatigue might kick in towards the end. Heavy on the shoulders, not sure if I said that already. So make sure you're stretched, warmed up, ready to go. We're going to hit it all. A lot of upper body, some full body and core within those 30 different exercises. All right, so first exercise before I start, like I just mentioned we're going to split that 40 seconds into 20 seconds so you're going to give me overhead press for 20 seconds i'll give you the cue and we're going to switch up the exercise for 20 seconds all right so overhead press and arnold press 20 and 20 starting in 10 and let's make it a good one all right i've never done 30 different exercises at once so it'll be a, a fun one for me i hope it is for you as well here we go overhead press for first 20 seconds. So make sure every time you're in this position, your feet are drilled flat into the ground, soft, bend in your knees, chest is up, core is tight. All right, less than 10, we're gonna switch to an Arnold press. Great job, five more seconds, please. Excellent, three more, two, here we go. So open up, pressing, extending. That's it, coming in front. Don't drop your elbows too much. You wanna keep your muscles under tension. That's it, extending. Make sure your feet, you're not coming up on your toes, just using strict upper body. All right, we're going to do a weighted burpee to reverse lunge with a hammer. So I want you coming all the way down. I want your legs shoulder width apart for this. Coming all the way down on your weights, jumping feet together. I want here, overhead press, back down to weighted burpee, all right? So one leg at a time, I'm gonna switch up a little bit heavier. Weighted burpee, hammer, reverse lunge, hammer, overhead press. So that's it. Step it back, get set, hammer curl, overhead press, feet come together, back down again. Arms are tucked into your sides, get that chest up, other leg, one, two, press it up. All right, great job. I want your arms tucked in. Remember, swinging your feet, get them flat into that, on that ground. As you push yourself up, from that weighted burpee position. Step back, get set, hammer, overhead press. All right, great job. Almost done this one. Up, let's go. Three more seconds, two. Great job. All right, then go heavier. We have a snatch, we're gonna alternate. I want to snatch, first movement, all the way up, drop, overhead press, same thing. All right, so all the way up, drop to your shoulder, Overhead press. All right, here you go. Use your legs, please, for this one. Knees out as you come down, snatch all the way up, drop your shoulder, overhead press. Let's go, same thing. Make sure you're alternating one, two, great job. All right, coming up, we'll be on the ground. You have two chest movements coming up, two chest exercises. All right, great job. All the way leading up that elbow, bam, pop it up. Core is nice and tight, right? That's it, drilling your feet flat into that ground, bam, and up. Great job, keep going all the way. That's it. Use your legs here, bam, lead up with the elbow. Core is nice and tight. Three more seconds, please. One more I got. All right, meet me on the ground. So my limiting one is my chest fly. I can go heavier for chest press. So we're going to do chest press, sorry, for 20 seconds. That 20 second mark, I'm going to open up and do chest fly. All right, chest press, chest fly, 20 in seconds each. Here we go. That's it, so you wanna graze the ground. Don't rest your arms though, all right? Pushing up, mid chest. 
So like I said, I typically go heavier for my chest press, for my chest fly, not so much. All right, we're gonna switch up exercises. Here we go, three more seconds, please. Two, one, switch it up. Same thing, arms are just grazing the ground, squeezing as you bring the dumbbells, midline. All right, great job, keep going, make sure you're breathing. I like to keep my legs up in this exercise, if you can do that as well. All right, five more seconds, please. Awesome, three, two, one, great job. All right, we have alternating squat thrusters. So dumbbells are up here, squat one up at a time, one up at a time, pushing your knees out. Feet are drilled flat into that ground. All right, after squat thrusters, we have our first core exercise. Here we go, 40 seconds, alternating squat thrusters. So very important in this, every time we do a squat thruster, any squat position actually, I always say push your knees out. So make sure your knees are not falling in. Make sure your toes are slightly, slightly pointed out to enable you to hinge at the hips, sink back. That's it, here we go. All right, all the way up. Core is nice and tight. That's it. As soon as that arm comes down to that shoulder, you're going down to squat position. All right, less than 10. You're gonna meet me on the ground. Do some weighted full sit-ups for 20, then full sit-ups with a twist for the next 20. All right, single dumbbell, please. I want you extending over your head. First 20 seconds, and I just want you tucking in. Tucking in, then full sit-ups with a twist. So you're gonna come up, come across over your head and across, all right? So both exercises are coming from over your head. All right, let's go, 20 seconds each. Make sure you're extending over your head. I like to drill my feet flat into the ground. Drill those heels into the ground, right? So you're not scooching all over the place. All right, keep going. We're gonna do some full sit-ups with a twist coming up. That's it, here we go. Now switch it up. Give me that twist, really come across your body. Bam, that's it. Great job. All right, we're gonna hit up the back next. We need some bent over flies and bent over rows. So my limiting one for that, as well as my flies. Three, two, one. So bent over fly, you're going to come down nice and low, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Then 20 seconds, palms out, driving the elbows back. So I can typically go heavier for my rows and for my flies. So I'm gonna drop down in weight to accommodate my rows. All right, here we go. So legs are shoulder width apart. Don't swing. I want you to be in control, leading up with the elbows. Get those elbows up. Back is flat. Don't drop your head. That's it, coming down nice and low. You should feel these in your legs as well. Let's isolate the back. We're gonna switch exercises in three, two, one, palms out. Extending all the way in front, driving the elbows back. All right, great job. You're on the ground for the next movement. You have some dumbbell pull across with some mountain runners. All right, great job. Drive the elbows back, back is nice and flat. Don't drop that head. Three, two, one. All right, so two. So I'm gonna be in plank position. Starting the dumbbell over on one side, pull it across for one. Two on that second one. Give me 10 mountain runners, then back again to dumbbell pull across. I want you stacking your shoulders over your wrists. Nice tight core, no bums in the air. Here we go for one. So just drag it across that ground, then driving your knees under your chest for 10. That's it, back again, pull it across for one. Two, then give me 10. Excellent. All right, we have a step up coming up with an overhead press little bit of legs and shoulders coming up. That's it, make sure we are not dropping our, we are not putting our bums in the air, our core is tight. We're not dropping our heads, right? Stacking your shoulders over our wrists. Stare at that spot just ahead of you. Pushing through the palms of your hands. Excellent. All right, so from here I need a dumbbell in each hand. You're going to keep them up here. So one, step up. Bam, back down again. I really want you drilling your feet. Get set, one, two, overhead press, all right? Here we go. One, two, step it, drill those feet flat into the ground. Back down again. I want you really 
using your shoulders as well as you keep these dumbbells up here. All right, that's it. Make sure you're alternating the foot that you step down with. Pretty sure I just did two in a row with the same leg. That's not what I should be doing. That's it, alternate, that's it. Here we go, one, two, getting set. Drill your feet flat into that ground. And that overhead press up. That's it, less than 10. We're gonna do some bicep work. One, two, press it up. That's it, three more seconds, please. Two, one, excellent. So biceps, I want you to give me curls for 20 seconds and then hammer curls for 20. So my limiting is my bicep curls and go heavier typically for my hammer. All right, so palms are facing out, legs are shoulders apart, soft bend to your knees. Here we go. All right, one, extending all the way down. That's it, tucking your elbows in. So my arms are kind of on an angle, keeping our core nice and tight. That's it, remember feet are flat on that ground. All right, great job. We're gonna switch in five seconds to hammer curls. Here we go, three more, two, great job. Palms facing in, extending all the way down. Same thing, don't rest at that top, but I want you full extension at that base. All right, less than 10 of some body weight coming up. We're gonna do plank up and down for 20 seconds and then shoulder taps for 20. Here you go, three, two, all right. On the ground, first 20 seconds, arms are locked. One, two, lock, back down again, alternating. All right, then last 20 seconds is shoulder taps. Core is nice and tight, straight line, stacking shoulders over your wrist. No bums in the air. Here you go, 20 and 20, please. Excellent, extending, I want those arms locked, pushing through the palms of your hands. One, two, coming all the way back down. My legs are shoulder width apart. I'm always staring at that spot just ahead of me, so I'm not dropping my head and my bum is not in the air. All right, let's switch it up. Here we go, shoulder taps please, for the last 20 seconds, one. Same position though, right? Stacking shoulders over the wrist, pushing through the palms of your hands. Awesome, we have some more core coming up. And we're done this one, so just stay down here. In three more seconds please, Not two. One, this is body weight. So we're going to do bicycles for 20 seconds, and then we're gonna slow it down. I call these slow bicycles. So we're doing the same exercising exercise, but switching the tempo. All right, placing your hands gently behind your neck for 20 seconds, bicycles, let's go. One, two, one, two. That's it, coming across your body, driving the knees in and out. One, two, make sure we're breathing. Great job. We're gonna hit up some more shoulders after this. So let's just focus on your core. Let's go, we're gonna switch up the tempo in three, two, one, extend out one at a time. One at a time, come across your body. That's it, so this is like a hollow rock position. Where we're off the ground. That's it, make sure we're breathing less than 10. We have some lateral and front raise. All right, five more seconds, please. Awesome, three, two, one, let's do it. Lateral raise for 20 seconds. I want to start on the outside of our legs, leading up with the elbows. Then last 20 seconds, let's switch it to front raise. All right, shoulders, lateral front raise. Here we go. Starting from the ground up, right? Proper, drilling our feet flat into that ground. Legs the shoulder width apart. Soft bend in your knees. Get those elbows up. Remember, we're not swinging, we're in control of the, our movement. All right, five more seconds. Let's do some front raise and three more, two, one in front of our bodies. Here we go, same thing. Let's not swing. Shoulders, coming up to shoulder height. Soften in your knees, that's it. Great job. Less than 10, do dumbbell squat, clean and press. Awesome, five more seconds. Make sure you're breathing, three, two, one, great job. All right, here, I want to squat. We've done this many times, legs and shoulders apart. Squat, clean, overhead press. So a full squat, half squat, power up, overhead press. All right, let's get started, five seconds. Here we go, feet do not move, plant them flat. One, two, pushing through your heels, right? Let's really work our glutes. 
sitting back in that squat position. All right, remember full squat, little bam, press it up. Great job. All right, we have a little bit more body weight coming up after our man makers. We have kickbacks. No, we don't have body weight coming up for a few more. My mistake. There we go. Why am I, of course, right? One, two. Wouldn't have it any other way. Gotta keep you on your toes. We have man makers coming up. Five more seconds, please. That's it. Three, two. Great job. So man makers, a lot of movement. I want you coming down, push up if you can. If not, don't worry. It's one, two, hammer, open up, overhead press, back down. All right, so push up, two plank rows, hammer, open up, press it up. All right, here we go. Bring your chest all the way to the ground. So you wanna focus on our push ups to bring our chest, our upper chest to the ground. You don't want to be dropping your head, all right? You want your arms tucked into your sides. One, two, up, open up. That's it, excellent. All right, we have some tricep work coming up after this. One, two, jump it in, that's it. Great job, 10 more seconds left. Nice, tight, so just admit the push-up if you can't do one, that's no problem. Here we go, three, two, one, great job. All right, so we have kickbacks for the first 20 seconds. All right, one, two, then I want them together. Overhead tricep extension for 20. So choose a weight that you can do both or just switch it up. You can do that quickly. All right, here we go, so kick it back. Nice and low, just like when we were doing our, our bent over flies and our bent over rows. Your legs are shoulders apart. Nice and low, all right? Back is flat. Squeezing at that top. Five more seconds, I'll go this way. That's it, three, two, overhead. Let's go, tucking feet are flat on that ground, extending up. Don't round, don't arch your back, please. Arms are tucked in by your ears, all right? Don't flare those elbows. We have, now we have our body weight. We have four pike knee taps coming up plus two half burpees. All right, so we're on the ground, plank position. Come across for one, two, three, four, then one, two half burpees. All right, four pike knee taps coming across your body, two half burpees. All right, here we go. Plank position, coming across for one, two, after that fourth one, driving your knees, one, on the outside of your body for two. Here we go, one, two, that's it. Three, four, driving, one, two, bounding on the balls of your feet, right? One, two, keep going. You do as many as you can do. Don't keep up with me. One, two, that's it, excellent. Keep going right to that beat. That's it, four and two, awesome. One, two, driving your feet on the outside of your body. That's it, two, three, four. All right, great job. We're on the ground, back to our core. I want 20 seconds, Russian twist, and then we're gonna come on the ground. 20 seconds of ball tuck and extend. All right, twist for 20, ball tuck and extend for 20. Here we go. One, two, that's it. Coming across your body. Make sure if you need to plant your feet or your heels on the ground, that's fine. If not, just lean, keep them just off the ground, leaning back. All right, ball tuck and extend. Keep going, five more seconds. Great job, three, two, one. So tuck and open. So you're get, I'm getting my tailbone off the ground as I tuck in that ball and open. Awesome. All right, back to some shoulders. We have a high row and a V raise. So my limiting one for this is my V raise. I can go heavier for my high rows, but I need to accommodate. All right, high rows first. I want your legs shoulder width apart. You're gonna come under your chin, elbows up, and then V raise. That, it's like a, a front raise, sorry, but coming up on that V shape. All right, here you go, 20 and 20. Let's go. So under your chin, one. Two, great job. Keep going for the first 20. 
and we'll switch it to um, our V-raise. Excellent, so same thing. Always maintain that soft bend in your knees. Get those elbows up. We're gonna switch it up in three more seconds, please. Two, one, and coming up on that angle. There we go. There's the spice. <laughs> all right, V-raise. Get them all the way up to shoulder height. Make sure we are not swinging. I said less than 10. We're going to do some, some more shoulders, but throw in some legs there. We're gonna do a reverse lunge to lateral raise. All right, so you know what? I'll stick with these. So lunge position as you're set. Give me that single lateral raise. Switch it, one, two, lateral raise. All right, legs are shoulder width apart. All right, here we go. Five seconds, alternating reverse lunge, lateral raise. This is 20 of 30 exercises. So we've been knocking them off when it's been going by very fast, actually. For me, I hope it is for you at least, having all those different movements to, uh, to do. All right, getting set, chest up, elbows up. That's it, step it back. Great job. All right, we're going to do body weight exercise. I believe it's our last one of the uh, workout. We're gonna do a burpee with the side step. Great job, get set, get your chest up, core is nice and tight. Awesome, three more seconds please. Two, bam, all right. So burpee, we've done these in my past videos. We're going to come all the way down, arms tucked in, landing, little steps that side, back to burpee as you land. Little jump, single foot, back to burpee. All right, here we go. Three, two, coming all the way down, tucking your arms in, hands are flat on that ground. Little jump, bam, back to that middle. All right, so my knees are nice and bent to allow me to get down nice and low into my burpee position. So when we're doing our burpees, it's like we wanna come down into a squat position, pushing our knees out, getting low, keeping your feet back behind us. Hands are flat on that ground. Awesome. All right, great job. We have around the world, and we have a palmed out lateral raise. All right, awesome. That's one. So this is gonna be tricky for me. We have around the world for 20 seconds, and then we're gonna stop here. Palmed out lateral raise for 20. All right, so one is using our back. The other is for our shoulders, but we're using a lot of similar um, muscles in both of these. All right, great job. 20 seconds around the world. So you want to be starting from the outside of your thighs, soften in your elbows. All right, great job. So palms out, lateral raise. Five more seconds, please. Here we go. One more. Let's switch it up. All right, lateral raise. So same thing from the outside of your thighs, getting up to shoulder height. There we go. There is a spice once again. Didn't go, didn't go too long without feeling that. Elbows up, please. Five more seconds. Awesome. I got one more. Three, two, one. Great job. All right, so we are in squat position. I want you walking out. One, two, when you're at that base, give me a push up. If you can, walk it back, squat up, back down. All right, if you can't do a push-up, just give me, um, just hold it in that plank position, or you can give me a body drop all the way to the ground and back up again. One, two, squat up, back down again. Walk it down, one, two, push up, or body drop. That's it, pushing those knees out as you come up into squat position. One, two, core is nice and tight. Remember, push-ups. Arms are tucked in, bringing your upper chest to that ground. Here we go, one, two, forward, awesome. All right, great job. Pushing those knees out, squat wide, squat position, right? That's it, awesome. All right, finish that one. All right, what do we have? We're gonna do some weighted leg raises. So we're back to core. We're gonna do two at a time for 20 seconds. And then we're just gonna do single, the last 20. All right, leg raises the whole time, two, and then one. All right, here we go. So two at a time, I started with one. That's all right. 
So I was getting something in there at least. All right, great job. Five more seconds. We're gonna switch up to single leg. Awesome. Make sure, sweet three, two, one. One up at a time now. You don't wanna be arching your lower back. You wanna push your spine to the ground. All right, great job. Getting your legs as close to the ground and your upper body as close to the ground as you can with the dumbbell. That's it, three more seconds, please. Two, one, awesome. So we're gonna need a single dumbbell. So we're gonna do a full front raise. So you're gonna come all the way up and down, all right? And then for last 20, it's overhead press. All right, full front raise, overhead press, single D dumbbell, single DV. Let's go, extending all the way. So you don't wanna be resting the weight against yourself. Keep it extended out slightly in front of you. So I'm not coming directly over my head. I'm leaving a bit of an angle. So I'm keeping my muscles under tension. All right, we're gonna switch it up in three, two, one. Here we go, overhead press, single dumbbell. You wanna keep your elbows tucked in. Drill your feet flat into the ground. Don't use your legs, right? We're going to do a bent over row to a lunge with bicep curl. Do some back and biceps, a little bit of legs. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start with our row. I want our palms facing in this time. Step it back, curl. All right, row, step it back, curl. All right, here we go. Three more seconds, this time we row. Remember, palms are facing in. Drive it back, step it back, curl again. Nice and low, right? When we're doing this back exercise, we want to really be targeting our back. So we want to get down nice and low. Awesome. This is 26 of 30. I'm not even like aware of how quickly it's going by. That's awesome. All right, great job. So I may have said we had no more body weight exercises coming up. We have one more. <laughs> Last one, I promise. All right, here we go. Drive me elbows back. Back is flat. Awesome. One more row. Great job. All right, so we have four plank jacks, two plank walks. All right, so you want in and out for four, then walk it across for two, and then four. So we're walking across for two, four, walk it back for two and four. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Here we go. One, two, three, four, then make sure no bums in the air as you walk across. Here we go. In and out for four, walk it across. Don't drop that head. Core is tight, that's it. Push through the palms of your hands, one, two. I'm always staring just ahead of me here on the ground so my bum does not go in the air and I don't drop my head. That's it, excellent, keep going. One, two, three, four, as quick as you can. Let's get those reps in, right? Five more seconds, please. That's it, here we go. Awesome, all right, so this I need to go lighter for. All right, we're going to do a Y press for 10, and then we're gonna do an overhead rotation. All right, rotation for 20. All right, so you're gonna keep your arms up the entire time. Let's go Y press first, coming up on that angle. 20 seconds each, dipping your shoulders. Your elbow, sorry, just below shoulder level. That's it, make sure one last shoulder blast, right? One last shoulder blast. Feet are flat on that ground. That's it, so five more seconds. We're gonna do that overhead rotation. Three, two, one. So you're gonna rotate down, back up. All right, so see my arms are staying at shoulder height the entire time. And up, that's it. Don't arch your back. Less than 10, great job. All right, this is 28 of 30. We have two more left. One more, awesome, let's do it. I want a single dumbbell right here. We're going to clean, squat, use your legs, press, other side, clean, squat, and press. All right, yeah, sit up the shoulders, come on, bring it on, let's go. Get set in that squat position, press it up. 
Again, pushing those knees out. Get low, bam, and up. Here we go, great job. Make sure your feet are flat on that ground. You get set into the squat position first, then you use your legs to power up. All right, great job. Last one is on the ground. Core focused exercise in plank position. That's it, keep going, go. Bam, squat all the way up. Less than 10, great job. Great to that beat, five more seconds please. See if I can get one more in, three, two. Great job, so everything is four and, sorry, four and four. So one, two, three, four. Drop to your elbows, tap for four. All right, back up again, come across, come across, really stabilize. All right, here we go, four for one, two, pushing through the palms of your hands, three, four, drop to your elbows, no bumps in the air, tap your feet, two, three, four, push it up, let's go. Last one of the day, my friends, two, stabilize, three, four, remember plank position, we know what to do, right? Three, four, I don't wanna see any bumps in the air, come across for one, Two, stack your shoulders over your wrist. Three, four, same thing in this position. Bums down, please. That's it, don't drop that head. Three, four, push it up again. Awesome. All right, we are done, that was awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll train again soon. Have a great day.